guys this is Geneva Stahl here welcome back to my channel uh, for those of you who are new here welcome I try to post as much content as possible for you guys and especially right now that I'm pregnant I would like to change my content a little bit I will be discussing different topics that are related to my pregnancy and motherhood um, of course as soon as I have my baby then uh, we'll have fun I know that we'll have fun Be sure to subscribe for more contact and uh, Let's get to the video. So for today's video, I just wanted to focus on a particular topic that really is really important to me. Uh, when I found out I was pregnant, I immediately started changing. My body started changing. I started like being coming very swollen, as you can tell, even though I'm, I'm near nine months pregnant. So being swollen is very common. However, at that time, I was, was really my body was already changed. It was gaining weight. Um, I think I gained 30 pounds or so. Uh, from my original weight, so it's not that bad, but still I'm very tiny, so <laughs> that was kind of a heartbreaking for me to experience that. And then uh, I've been experiencing acne, I've been experiencing uh, pain, discomforts that are usually common in pregnancy. Now, I must say that as far as now, I haven't experienced any stretch mark. However, I do have the demarcation lines, like the parallel lines that usually come up on your belly, those actually are present on your skin, even with a flat stomach, but they are kind of like accentuated. Um, they become darker as soon as the belly starts expanding. So those I do have. So a little bit of uh, uh, facts about stretch marks. Of course, stretch marks, they do appear. Some individuals are lucky enough to have a very elastic skin, good genetics, um, and overall skin health, um, but usually genetics, ethnicity do play a great role. Uh, Caucasian individuals usually are more prone to suffer from stretch marks whenever there's changes in your skin. Uh, individuals with oilier skin are less prone to it, uh, and more so instead of people with drier skin, of course they need more hydration in order to prevent or even uh, alleviate the tone of these stretch marks. And of course, there's so many treatments available out there, laser treatments, those are very expensive. So of course, if you want to avoid stretch marks, of course, you want to hydrate, you want to include many ingredients on your skincare routine that will help you to kind of fade them or prevent them. It's best to prevent them because once they come, it's more of a pain to try to fade these stretch marks. The basic ingredients that you would use are cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, vitamin E, vitamin A, um, or any type of botanical oils and herbs, anything that really can help your skin elasticity um, and repair your skin in order to fade the stretch marks. Also, the sun does help. However, I would never advocate for skin tanning because it's not very healthy for you, but in small doses, of course, it is healthy. Vitamin C is really healthy for you, but we're getting to the winter here. No one is gonna go tanning right now. I'll be going over some of these products that I'll be using and that I've been enjoying. Some, like I said, are very pricey. Others, they're from the 20s to 60 range. Uh, some of the oils that I've been using are not pricey, but the shipping costs are pricey just because they come from another country. So uh, so let's uh, let's jump into These it. three oils actually come from the same brand. It's called Skin Store. It's an Australian indie brand um, company. And that is why the shipping costs are a little bit expensive because like I said, it comes from Australia. They're full, fully organic and not extra fragrances. The main fragrances are coming from, like I said, flowers. They actually add the flower in there to end. It's mixed with the oils. And all these products have the same oil ingredients. They simply have a different fragrance. They use a different base flower. So the, the oils that are containing these products are apricot uh, curial oil, which is a primary source of vitamin A, avocado oil, macadamia oil, vitamin E oil. Uh, so those are the main ingredients of all these products. First one is called Rited My Peony Body Oil. And of course, Peony is the main fragrance, so it's very exotic. Um, so I will just show you the bottle. So it's a really nice oil. I like to use these at night or if I go out, which is not many times right now, uh, throughout the day, I do use it, especially because it gives me a nice fragrance and it just it absorbs into the skin very quickly, which is really nice. And now this particular oil is kind of strange because when you actually smell in the bottle, the smell is not very nice. Like I, I really don't like the smell. However, once you start putting on your skin, it kind of changes and it kind of like, it, it becomes a complete different fragrance. It's, it, it kind of meshes with your skin. 
um, it's fantastic. And it actually, it's the, my favorite smell out of all of them. Now the second one, it's called Sugar Body Oil. And again, the main fragrance for this one is vanilla. And those bottles are beautiful. They look so nice on my vanity. Those I use on my belly, I use on my ties. I don't use them on, um, and I use them on my arms sometimes, like I said, because I like the fragrance. I use them on my tattoos. Um, I don't use it on my chest or my back or any other part of my body just because I'm very oily. And again, I'm acne for skin, especially during the pregnancy. I got a lot of acne, so. These oils are not good for me, <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> so I don't wanna mix, I'm gonna be mixing flavors and fragrances over here, so. Uh, but this is really nice, it's really hydrating. The absorbance is getting so fast, they're just so beautiful. Then we have the third one. The third one, it's a very a seductive. There's The fragrance are Ginger Bergamot, and the name is Nikia Joy Body Oil, and it's named after the influencer that launched this limited edition oil. So unfortunately, this is not um, one of the products that they have in stock all the time, but I think it will, it will bring it back just because it was very popular. And it's one of my favorites, the one that I'm using the most right now. That's how it looks like. Like I said, these bottles are just, they just look good on your vanity. They're fantastic. I think I'm gonna mixing, I'm mixing too many oils now. <laughs> this one, the fragrances last on you so well. It's fantastic. And again, I'm gonna put it on my, my arm as well. It is so beautiful. This one is very seductive, very nice, very gentle as well. The others are a little bit stronger, but still, uh, I love wearing them. They last so long on you, even on your clothes. Your clothes start smelling of them. Even my cat starts smelling of these products, <laughs> just so you know. So another product that I, it, that this is very expensive, $65, but I do use it. I like to invest in these products. They're really good. But again, you can go to the drugstore and get so many of these ingredients in other products. I just love, I love luxurious products. And like I said, these oils, I will never find those at the drugstore. This one in particular is really nice. It comes from a company called Faina. Faina, it's, um, I believe it's made in the US, but it's based on Chinese treatment medicine. It's the color. That's what I would use on my belly all every night. It's just a really good, really good product. Um, it's very, it's like a balm. It contains um, uh, botanicals, and I do, I will include uh, a picture of all the ingredients listed uh, because there's a, a bunch of them, and it's really nice. It's 1.6 um, ounces and 50 milligrams. That's a very good product. It does work. Even the lines, like I said, I don't have stretch marks at this time, but the actual lines that usually you develop as the belly stretches, those are even fainted um, and they have faded by me using this product. So this was a game changer for me. And like I said, it's a great product to use. And on my chest, I do use it daily. This is the CeraVe Moisturizer. You really need hydration, ceramides. It is from normal to dry skin. So actually it's not good for oily skin, but of course I'm not gonna use this on my face. I don't use this too much on my chest, like on my breast, on my nipples, my stomach uh, specifically. And this work fantastic. It's apolar, it's gentle on the skin, and these, it contains um, uh, uh, ceramides. So uh, this is really good. This is really good. I would recommend it's very cheap at the drugstore and I use it on the daily and it's not heavy, absorbs into the skin very quickly. Uh, please comment down below and let me know what products you're using and what would you recommend for your, what would you recommend for your stretch marks? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.